Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So today is lesson 19 guys. I've been doing these lessons on beginners forex trading. Uh, if you have not watched lesson 1 up to 18, kindly go to my YouTube channel and look at those lessons. They are very, very helpful. So in this video, I want to prove to you guys when I say it, that you need to know when to buy the market and when to buy the market don't rely most uh, mostly on what people keep saying about market structure about the market has to be uptrend for you to know when to buy you need to have a pattern that's what i always talk about you need to have a forex pattern for you to be able to know this market is is it a buy or a sell so many people teach about uh, market structure. So this is USDJPY. This is a daily time frame. If we can check very clearly, this is an uptrend. So if you come with a mentality of, oh, I'm looking for the market structure, the market is making high highs, high lows, high highs, high lows. Of course, many people would want, will be looking, many people will be looking for a buy so that they continue with the trend because that's what they were taught. But in this video, it is very clear. Anytime you open your chart, want to get patterns. And sometimes patterns work. Uh, they can have uh, double patterns or multiple patterns in one single setup. So this is a clear USDJPY. It's on an uptrend. But I don't want to come with the mind that this market is going to buy. That is one of the things that make you fail whenever you come to trade. So if you come and try to put trend line, you're like, oh, the market has touched. Let me show you what people see. So you'll come with your trend line and you will, you'll start seeing, oh, the market is at the trend line. So there are three attempts. Even trend line, for me, they don't work. If trend line works for you, the better. But for me, I don't even teach trend line because this is first touch. This is second touch. And then you will find that the market has touched here and you'll be looking to buy. For me, what I want to, you to get in this video is when do you buy? You have to check patterns, guys. I said I'll be teaching you like a three-year-old. There is a pattern in this chart. And the pattern that you can see, I'll retain, let me retain the trend line so that you might, you might see how trend lines they don't work every time sometimes they may work but most of the cases trend line don't work because of course banks and the market makers know retail trader is using the trend line so if you have the trend line and you have the market structure of course you'll be looking for buy but if i tell you if at all we try to look at the pattern guys how do we look at the pattern there they i told you three patterns for you three patterns for you to know when to buy. The first pattern is a double bottom. If you have a double bottom, you can buy. If you have a double top that has been violated, you can buy. And the other one, if you have a channel break on the, on the resistance, you can buy. But in this case, I already have a channel, like the ranging channel. But we can see that the market is ranging on the support. So my, my market is most likely to break on the support rather than on the resistance. And this is where I start shifting my mind from the signals that have been given. You see, buying signal is from the trend line. It has two attempts. Let me even draw for you. So the buy is like that, two attempts second attempt and now the market is at that attempt this may trap many people thinking now the market wants to buy but if you attempt to check at the pattern the pattern is a channel so in this case for me once i put that box it's either my pattern break on the resistance for me to buy or it breaks on the support for me to sell but I won't be trading inside the box. So there's that rule, guys, that I give my students and I tell everyone, even here, I always say don't trade inside the, the box. So the rule, number one rule we have, don't trade inside the box. So this is what we have. So for the first time, if you start trading and analyzing, even if you have a market structure, 
The second thing that you want to get is the pattern. What is the pattern? What is the pattern? So if only you check at the forming of the double bottom, you can see there's the presence of the double bottom. Let me show you where you might think we have a double bottom here. If for you, you are seeing that double bottom, guess what? You will start seeing coloration of uh, the market saying it wants to buy. So if only you point out this double bottom, you'll start seeing this market has a double bottom. It's on an uptrend. It has trend lines. Guys, I'm telling you, if you go to daily time frame right now and you just see one pattern, try to look at another pattern so that you can be at least sure. So for me, I have, yes, the double bottom, but I have the channel. So the double bottom can make the market go up no problem but the channel if they break at support can make the market go down and if they can also break my trend line because again even if you are getting because this part this trend line has been rejected we don't know if the trend line will break so my trend line even if i am not using it a hundred percent it is there to show me that it can be broken my channel is there to show me it can be broken on the support side but if you only use the market structure or oh, it's a uptrend, then you come and say, oh, I have a possible double bottom. I'll buy, I'll put, you know, many people will put the box, the, the green candle. So for me, uh, what I'll now I'll do, I'll go to four hour to look for entry. So I know if this market breaks on the downside, I'm getting on that Sell. If it breaks on the upper side, I'm getting on the buy. So in this case, as I'm flipping to four hour, I don't know exactly the direction the market will take. I uh, will take. So once you go to four hour, you can see the double bottom very clearly. This is four hour. You can see that is first uh, leg, and then we have the second leg. And then the other thing with this double bottom, it's not as accurate as the double bottoms that I'm used to. Why? Because, let me change this color, this double bottom has a problem. It is touched how many times? Four times, guys. If a support is touched more than four times, that support becomes weak. So even if I was analyzing this, this pair and then I flip to four hour, I'll start seeing my, my, I'll start seeing my support getting uh, touched multiple times. You can see we have a touch there. And then we have another touch there. So at the end of the day, I won't be so quick to say what? I won't be so quick to say that this is a double bottom. Actually, it's not a double bottom. It is a support that has been tested so many times. So my idea to look for buyers keep going down. And this is how to analyze the market for good results. So at the end of the day, I want to see these buyers getting rejected and uh, and and we see maybe a signal of sell but for me overall i would want to sell if my trend line is broken and if this support is broken i'll buy if at all they'll break this upper resistance so come with the mind of you're not biased with the one side you are you are ready to take action that's what i tell people don't say this market will do this this market will do this always react always react always react guys so let's play um the playback to see what really happened to this chart and if you are trading this market what you could have done so after Analyzing, you can see the market is consolidating on this zone. You can even put, um, there is that resistance that the market can't seem to break. We have that resistance that the market can't seem to break. Let me highlight it to you. So let's see what really happened. You see, as you're not interested with the buy yet, because we know if at all they won't break our main resistance you want to buy but sell it is near we can sell because it is near so see guys see that candle very big candle guys very huge candle this is called momentum candle so if at all you entered any buy position thinking oh i will buy up to here now you are losing it and and this candle is how many pips let's see 312 pips so if i see this these are direct because of course uh, i will first look at the 
time and then I'll get in my cell immediately because these are the candles that they don't do retracement. You need to know my BWA strategy talks about uh, knowing if you, you will go for retracement or not. So that is how the market, uh, that's how you can get in this trade. And then another thing, if at all you get in this trade, we have how many candles? Two more candles for the day to close. So after I play two candles, we'll go to daily time frame to check if daily they really broke this support because we need to be supported by daily time frame for them to break support. So let's see what happened. So the next candle, it was a sell. And this was the candle that printed uh, at nine. So we still have one more to see how the day closed so after this candle now the day closed so you go to daily time frame to check if really the market broke and you can see how big that candle was so i have confidence that the market broke and it is going to touch my take profit this is how you trade guys you always go with the side that the market has shown you don't come in with ideas so at the end of the day if at all you wait until your take profit is hit the take profit is hit and you can see how many pips were you uh, did you get after all waiting 585 pips that's why i tell people for me i'm a swing trader i would rather see a setup hold my trades and execute and wait until tp is hit so this was an easy trade but if at all you stayed on daily and then come with a mindset of oh it's a market it's an uptrend i'm looking for buyers and you don't have enough confirmation you would have lost money so guys this is it this is how powerful patterns are there patterns can tell you when do you buy when do you sell if you open the chart remember everything was screaming buy 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 but the patterns defined the action that you're supposed to do i hope this was helpful if you want more of lessons i'll be doing lesson 20 all the way to 100 so keep it here subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed give this video a big thumbs up until next time guys bye bye love you